Tigers facing the White Sox. Miguel Cabrera out once again with a sore left hip flexor, missing back-to-back -back games for the first time since 2010. But the Tiger offense does not miss a beat. Top of the first two men on for Prince Fielder facing John Danks. Swinging a high fly ball right center field. This one's got some carry. Way back in right center and gone. Prince Fielder with number 17. It's a three-run shot in the first. That call coming courtesy of WXYT. Bottom one, the White Sox threaten. They have a man on third with just one away. Andy Ball Sanchez trying to work around that. He'll strike out Alex Rios for out number two. And then Adam Dunn strikes out to end the frame. Sanchez escapes unharmed. Top two, more Tigers offense with Austin Jackson at the plate against Danks. Fly ball deep down the left field line. Hooking in the corner. Gone a home run. Austin Jackson, line drive down the left field line, number six. And the Tigers take a 4-0 lead in the second. That call courtesy of WXYT once again. Fourth inning now, Sanchez in a jam, two on and two out for Chicago. But it'll induce the ground ball to the right side from Connor Gillespie. Prince Fielder gobbles it up, then flips to Sanchez covering first. And the White Sox come up empty. Top five, Torrey Hunter steps in, and he takes Danks deep to left field. That ball will leave the yard, number nine on the air for Hunter. It's 5-0 Tigers. In the sixth inning, the Tigers want some more. There's two on for Alex Avila, and Avila singles into right field. That brings home Don Kelly. It's 6-0 Tigers. Danks goes seven and gives up 11 hits, along with the six earned runs. Bottom six now, Sanchez will cap off his night by getting Gillespie to fly out to center field. The right-hander Sanchez tosses six scoreless frames and strikes out five. The Tigers win this one by a final of six to two. The Tigers have now won four games in a row, and their lead over the Indians remains at three and a half games in the AL Central. Meanwhile, John Danks is one and six over his last eight starts, and the White Sox fall to 20 games under 500 for the first time since 2007.